on an Orlando, Florida golf course. In the dawn of a Thursday in April, for a family besieged by illness and blessed by love, Mother's Day came a little early this year. Let me introduce to you Dakota Dowd. As 13-year-old Dakota Dow prepared to take her first swing in an LPGA event, her mother, Kelly Jo Dowd, terminally ill with cancer, waited for her miraculous chance to see her daughter achieve a lifelong dream. That was our dream together. I mean, I wanted to be on the LPGA, and I wanted her to see me play on the LPGA, like five. And now she's going to be able to do that, and that makes me feel really good inside. With her fluid swing, Dakota has won scores of age group titles in Florida, urged on by her father, Mike, ever since he first showed off that swing to a local pro. He watched her hit balls, and he came back and walked away from her and pulled me aside and said, Oh, yeah, <laughs> she's got some talent. You should definitely encourage her to keep doing this. She could be very good at this. But as Dakota got better at golf, Kelly Jo, a calendar model turned restaurant manager, was in a fight for her life. In 2002, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, undergoing a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery, and was medically cleared. Then, in early 2005, Mike received grim news over the phone from a member of Kelly Joe's medical team. She just told me that Kelly had uh, bone, had bone cancer, and, and, and then she paused and she said, and, and liver cancer, Mike. And I said, oh, God. And she said, I said, how bad is it? How many spots in the bones where? And she says, it's, it's, it's everywhere, Mike. And then she started crying. So I said, everywhere? What do you mean everywhere? And she proceeded to tell me, you know. Mike had to give Kelly Jo her terminal prognosis. It was devastating. I thought I beat it. I thought I whipped it, and I didn't. It came back. So I was really angry. I was um, severely angry. I don't even know how else to say it. It sucked. <laughs> Quite honestly, it sucked. Kelly Jo had thought about foregoing painful chemotherapy this time. Then she thought of her daughter. I really wanted no part of it, quite honestly. But after giving it thought and looking in my daughter's face and in her eyes, it was, you know, evident to me that I needed to do this for her. What did you see in Dakota's eyes? Um, I saw a little girl who needs her mom. Yet for her mom's sake, Dakota was ready to give up the game she had poured her young life into. I told her right away, I'm like, I'll never play golf again. I'm just going to spend every single waking minute with you. And she said, no, that's not what you're going to do because my mom's more important than anything. And um, I just wanted to spend every minute with her. But she's like, I want you to play golf. I know you love it. Then came a remarkable opportunity. Real estate mogul Bobby Ginn, after reading about the Dowds in a local paper, offered Dakota a sponsor's exemption to play in the Ginn Clubs and Resorts Open, giving Dakota her first chance to realize her dream of playing in an LPGA event and giving Kelly Joe a last chance to see that dream come true. In the early hours of Thursday, April 27th, just prior to the start of the tournament, Showers raked the area as the Dowds greeted the day. Tell me that's not a symbolism. Can you see it? You got your eyeballs in? I got them in. Look at that baby. Our little girl will understand the significance of that one day, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kick ass. Very kick ass. <laughs> what did that say to you when you looked at that rainbow? That God was looking out for us and he wanted to give us a beautiful, colorful day. And that's exactly what he did. <sighs> oh, it worked! <laughs> Meanwhile, with two hours until her tea time, Dakota was revved and ready to face the LPGA's best. I'm pumped to play great golf and kick on his butt. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> then, at 9.32 a.m., Dakota walked to the tee for her first shot of the tournament with her parents looking on. I just didn't want to like top it off the tee or something. <laughs> I didn't care like if it went right or left, I wanted to hit it. So she did, straight down the fairway. Woo! I always go to my mom when I'm nervous. So I just went over there and I'm like, oh, mom, give me a hug. Love you so much. Okay, what's up, honey? Dakota's approach shot on her first hole landed safely on the green and rolled to within two feet, setting up a putt for birdie. Yes! <laughs> it was the ideal start to a round of rock steady play that thrilled Dakota's father. Oh, good line. ball. That's good. Good ball, babe. And her mother. Yes! Yeah. As she sank her last putt, Dakota had shot a 74, just two over par. She was sworn by the media, who knew Dakota had put herself in position to make the next day's cut. How much were you thinking about making the cut? Mm, not too much, but I'd lie to say I wasn't thinking about it a little bit. On Friday, Dakota again found the fairway with her opening tee shot. A remarkable par save on the third hole offered hope that making the cut was still possible. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> but Dakota struggled over the final 15 holes. She would eventually shoot an 82 and miss the cut by eight strokes. As Dakota walked up to the 18th green, the gallery rose to its feet in tribute to her and her family. You should wave at them. They want you to wave. No, they want you to. She holed out. And as dusk swept over the course, Dakota sought refuge in her mother's arms. Only then did this 13-year-old ponder her achievement and let her feelings show. I was like happy and sad. I was happy that I got to do this amazing experience and like all those people were cheering for me and it just felt good. And then I was sad it was over and I was sad that I didn't play as well as I could have and just thinking about like what my mom's going through and I just I just kind of broke down. Two weeks and two days before Mother's Day, Dakota Dowd gave her ailing mom the rarest of gifts, a gift of life, a week's worth of joyous, exuberant, high-spirited days filled with the sort of images any mother would treasure. <laughs> I love you. I never felt more love and more kindness and support than I had the past couple days of my life. It was incredible. I feel like it, it, it's uplifted me and I feel like my disease is gone. I feel like I'm just me again. And I know the scans will probably prove me wrong, but today I feel like I have no illness. I feel perfect.